Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Minecraft New Nintendo 3DS Edition Let's Play video. And this is part 168 of my Let's Play series. And in this video today, you might notice that I'm starting off my old house today, and that is because we're going to be doing some exploration. So yeah, it has been quite a long time since I've even explored any part of this world at all. Because I've been working on my mansion a lot lately, I figured why don't I break it up by doing some exploration today. Because we are nearing episode 200, it's still about 30 episodes away, so it's still a little while, but the Ender Dragon is probably going to come around like the 90 mark, episode 190, because I want to have a few episodes after the Ender Dragon to kind of finish things up, and I also want to do the Wither, but the Wither might come before that, but it's going to take forever to get all those Wither schools, so anyways... That's why I'm over at my old house today, because I need to get some things ready to go before I go exploring, including making a chest helmet inventory stuff in. So all this stuff is going to have to go in there. Although I do want to keep these sticks and bones, Move all this stuff away. I'm going to keep the food, obviously, in the dirt. All this other stuff can go, and then, of course, all this stuff can stay. So I guess I'll just use some sticks and cook the mutton with sticks. So my goal today, obviously it's not going to happen, but I want to find a stronghold and there's only one village in this entire world from what I've seen so far. I think there pretty much is only one village in this whole world. It's the one in the uh, snow biome. I don't think there's a stronghold beneath that because I do remember exploring beneath the village already and I had no luck. So we're just going to have to explore the world and hopefully we can find something. Whenever there's a cave that looks interesting, or it looks like there could be a stronghold in it. I mean, for crying out loud, it could be directly underneath my house, because I've never mined in that area, so... I mean, who knows, honestly. And I think I'm actually pretty much good. I do not have a lot of food, so I'm going to take a look at my garden chest real quick. I could just bring six... Actually, let's just bring all the apples. And I'm just curious to see how many pieces of gold I have. Oh, that's not very much. As you can tell, I have a ton of coal from that previous mining trip I did a few episodes back. I do have a ton of diamonds, but I don't need to use them. Craft one single golden apple. Because, I mean, hey, one golden apple, it sure helps, I guess, if I'm ever in an emergency situation and I need to, uh, you know, use it for any reason, then I have one for that reason. Okay, now let's go straight into exploring. So, like I said already, I'm not expecting to find a stronghold today because it's just the likelihood of that is very low although it could happen it could not saying it won't but it could but the likelihood is so low that i'm not counting on it to be honest so this is kind of what i was thinking of for foods getting food on the way there like as you can see i already have collected four pork chops for all that the first pig gave me three that pig gave me one so i feel of course it's gonna rain right as i'm starting but anyways um these pork chops or I guess just any animal food source on the way to my destination, or well, there is a, really isn't a destination, but just on my way, on my exploration, I'm just going to collect the uh, animal, animals as like my food source, so I don't have a bed with me, which is concerning, I probably should have brought a bed, but it's not that big of a deal, because I can always collect, um, I, you know, I can always find Enderman at night, so that would work, but I have explored this area already, this swamp biome, but this, I think it's not I don't think it's very big, and I haven't even really seen a cave yet. Okay, well, there's like a hill. I'm still in explored map area, which the map that I'm on right now is almost fully explored, so I kind of have to get out of this map. And I do want to go over to the snow biome again at some point. Oh, it's a thunderstorm. See, this is where going to sleep would have worked great, because then I could have just, you know, done that, and it would have been morning, but that's too bad. Maybe if I find three sheep, which I have not found a single one yet. But I don't think any friendly mobs are actually going to spawn. So, well, I'll just have to wait for the rain to pass. But that's okay, like I said. I mean, I'm not really looking for anything above ground. I'm just looking for caves. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I'm really looking for at this point. If I do find anything interesting above ground, of course I'll go explore it. But caves are like the main thing I'm looking for right now. Like, that over there is not a cave. It is a water thing, I bet. Yep, that's a water thing. Here's a cave. I doubt this is going to lead anywhere, but yep, it doesn't. <laughs> it just goes up and around and stops. Although, there's another path over here. See, I don't even know. Like, I feel like if I try to explore every single cave, this is going to be like a six-episode series probably before I even find a stronghold. So that's the problem that I'm having here. Because, I mean, 
that cave ended up being a dead end, obviously, and it didn't really have anything in it. Like, I'm not really specifically trying to mine ores. Like, I have so much coal at home, I don't even need to mine any. Or iron for- I mean, iron would be useful if I find any, but coal especially, like, I don't need coal at all. <laughs> like, period, I don't even need coal. So, that's kind of good that I don't have to worry about mining it, because, I mean, coal just takes forever to mine, because because the veins are so large. I think I'm just going to go straight over to the taiga, because I'm pretty close to it. That's not actually a taiga, it's a snowy plains, but I'm going to just go straight over there right now, and we'll see what's over there. So here we are at the village. It's been like, I don't know, 50 episodes since I've been here. Is there a cleric here? Because as I've already mentioned before, getting ender pearls is gonna suck. And if there is no cleric here, then it is going to take, I'm gonna have to spend so much time off camera. Oh, there is a cleric, okay, so I don't have to worry about that. Good. I'm just curious though, what trades does the cleric have oh uh, okay yeah rotten flesh and gold dang if i never crafted that golden apple at least could have gotten one emerald and then could have moved on from there getting the uh ender pearls but or the yeah the ender pearls but i do need several emeralds so what i might end up doing is just going to a farmer getting a bunch of wheat and then just you know getting a bunch of emeralds from that that's what i might end up doing honestly because <laughs> It's going to be a heck of a lot easier getting emeralds from the farmer than it is from the cleric. So, getting a bunch of rotten flesh sounds easy enough, but I barely have any. I'm pretty sure episode 116 or 117, I can't remember which one. It was one of those two where I explored this village. And um, this might not even lead to any. Yeah, this is not um, anything else. Nope, that doesn't lead anywhere. What about over here? Nope, that's nothing. So far? Oh, wait. Maybe there is something. I mean, the strongholds might be in the weirdest caves that, you know, you could possibly find. Wow, this is tight. I mean, it surprised me if a stronghold's down here. I mean, we're still pretty high up in the Y level. It's definitely not going to be up there. It's not going to be this high up, so I just need to start going down. But if any of these, I swear, I feel like it's going to lead to a dead end. I'm not even really concerned about diamonds anymore because I have 25. And I mean, I already have a diamond... Helmet and chest plate. Oh my god, this is a huge cave. It almost is like ravine like. Well, there's some uh, iron here, so that's nice. Might as well get some of that. I mean, no stronghold sightings as of yet. And of course, if you guys see any stronghold sightings in this video that I somehow failed to notice, just please comment down below. Because, um, I mean, that's always possible. I have had a few times in the past where I've missed diamonds on accident. This is so weird. Like, it's odd, especially with, like, the rain and the low render distance. It makes it look very eerie. Oh, my. This cave goes on forever. There's so many different paths. Like, honestly, there could be a stronghold in this cave, but I wouldn't know because there's so many paths. This could probably take three episodes to explore. Dang. And here we are down at diamond level. I mean, I guess if I do find diamonds, that would be a nice bonus because, I mean more diamonds the better but i don't necessarily need them i don't need more diamonds so it's more of a want at this point but i don't really want diamonds either like i don't that's not the thing i'm looking for in this video i want iron more than diamonds yep there's diamonds right there <laughs> of course right as i say i want iron more than diamonds i find diamonds but i, I think i've already passed a few iron veins that i didn't collect I did collect one a little bit ago, so I mean, it's, if I miss a few, it's fine, but I mean, I, the only reason why I want iron is because eventually, I want to, I mean, it doesn't matter though, like, why do I need iron? Now that, now that I think about it, like, diamond armor is so durable, and do I have my fortune pickaxe with me? No. I wasn't really intending to get ore, oh, it was only one diamond anyway, so I wasn't really intending to physically mine ores today, so that's why I didn't you know even think of bringing it because it wasn't i mean it's technically a mining adventure if you will because i do have to find a stronghold and i'm not exploring behind my house behind the spawn point because if you keep going that way it's just ocean and if there were an ocean monument i mean i probably would explore it kill the guardian but at this point like there really isn't anything in a ocean monument that's even worth collecting because i mean i have a clear goal for what i want to do with this series and Basically, it's just defeat the inner dragon and defeat the wither. 
If I can at least accomplish those two things before episode 200, then I'd say this was pretty good. As far as the Wither is concerned, I'm gonna have to spend a heck of a lot of time trying to get the Wither Skulls because I haven't gotten a single one yet. That is gonna take a very, very long time off camera. I'm gonna have to spend just hours upon hours. But this exploration thing, I'm hoping to find the stronghold in the next video. And that is quite ambitious, but I mean, it's, it's not really a prediction, but it's a hope. Like that's what I hope to find in the next video is the stronghold. But this cave is massive. Like, is this even worth exploring? I mean, it is because it's so big. I mean, there could be a stronghold anywhere. Goes on forever. So I think I'm just gonna leave it at this now. The stronghold could literally be anywhere. That's the problem. So I feel like if I just explore like a good section of each cave I find, then I might just be able to just say, okay, I'll move on to the next cave. Let's just go back up to the surface and try to find another cave because as much as I really like this cave, it's something that is going to have to be either done off camera because again, exploring, this is going to take probably an hour to explore in full just because of how many splitting paths there are. I'm not even exaggerating. That's probably how long this is going to take is one whole hour now where was the way out uh, maybe it was up here i mean i'm going up i'm already at y45 so hopefully this is the right way it looks familiar so hopefully and i know on the way down i pretty much only made one path of torches so i know this is the right way and there's a bunch of ores up there cool and iron i mean luckily i will say one positive thing is that if i i think i already said this once but if i cannot find a stronghold um, after like many cave explorations, I will come back to this cave and try to explore the unexplored areas just to see if there truly is a stronghold here or not. But like I said, the chances of one being here is so low. <laughs> it's, it's, well, not low. I wouldn't say it's so low because I mean, the way the cave is shaped and how large it is, there's a pretty, like, there's a pretty good chance that there might be one here. But, of course, I could use the method of Ender Eye Exploration because that would honestly be the easiest and most efficient method. But I really do not want to waste my Ender Eyes because Ender Pearls are a very precious resource in this game because they are so hard to get. They are the most, probably one of the most annoying items to get in this version. And you wouldn't think they'd be that annoying, but Endermen just never spawn. Like, they really just never ever spawn and i i just do not understand why like it's so rare that like, you'll ever see an enderman spawn at night and when you do it's like how do i compare it it's so rare like you would never even expect something like that to happen it's so rare at least in my experience other people's experiences might be different but at least in my experience Enderman spawns are just extremely rare, and I, I, I never understood why that's the case. But like I said, it obviously could vary from person to person, but in my personal, I'm just gonna put like a tower here. I mean, it's probably hard to see with the rain, but eventually I will. So I'd say that was kind of a success and not a success, because first of all, we didn't find a stronghold, but we did find a really, really amazing cave that might have one. But I think for now, I kind of just want to go explore some more. I kind of just want to find a bunch of cave. What is this? Oh, what? That's weird. Why is there just a random thing of fire there? That's weird. Okay, well, we're out of the snow biome now. Wow, creepers really are hidden in uh, rain like this. Oh, wow. Of course, when an enderman decides to spawn, it's raining. Perfect, right? Oh, I know this is pretty close to the other cave, but... Oh. Wow, nice. There's a stray down here. That's literally just one of those water pools underground. Oh, it leads straight out right here. Okay, well, that's kind of convenient. That means I can just dig my way out. That was a pretty pathetic cave. <laughs> that did not give me anything. And this is just going to lead to nothing. Like, there's not going to be a stronghold here either. All these little paths are just going to lead to the same area. Like, this is just going to lead down. Oh. Oh my god. 
wow, that is not what I was ready for. Oh, and yep, I'm pretty sure the game just crashed. So guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and conclude it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.